Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie. I wanted to take you guys on a, what a content shoot day looks like for me. Um, and today is really crazy and I think it's gonna be a really realistic point of view of my life because I've been at work all morning and I'm actually making a TikTok about that. So go to my TikTok channel to see what my day at work was like. But we're here at the shoot today um, and we're about to get started. So we just arrived and David is setting up the equipment. Say hi, babe. And then this is Ashley. So this is my one of my best friends' townhome. She always lets us shoot here. Luckily, she has amazing style, so the place is beautiful. So that's basically what we do. And so he's gonna set up down here and I'm gonna go get ready upstairs. So let's go upstairs. Right now, I'm getting ready. I brought my whole makeup bag, hair, whatever I need. So I always bring that to all my shoots, but I have like, today's work makeup on and I'm honestly just going on over that because at the end of the day I'm pretty sure they're looking at my tets not my makeup no but in all seriousness my makeup did fine today so we're gonna do some makeup I did my hair a little bit we're gonna brush it out fluff it up and then we're gonna get started on our first outfit so I'm gonna do my makeup and then we will go and go over the outfits for today so now you guys are going to set out my outfit so you guys can come over and um, see what I have to work with today. I have some fun things. Um, usually at my photo shoots, I like to shoot around three outfits. My goal is to always shoot at least three looks and then take it from there. If there's time to shoot more, we will shoot more. But a lot of times there's not because not only do we have to shoot for the OnlyFans, we also shoot for TikTok, we shoot for Instagram, and most importantly for Reddit and Twitter, which are the platforms I use to market my OnlyFans. So I have to consider all of those because on my platforms, Twitter and Reddit, and TikTok and Instagram, even though I do like talk about OnlyFans and I do post like sexy stuff, whether it's bikinis or even lingerie, it's all censored, it's 100% appropriate because I don't wanna risk getting banned on those websites. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like whenever I'm shooting for OnlyFans. I won't be able to film it for YouTube, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm shooting for my public platform. So you guys can at least get an idea of that. If you're not subscribed to my family or my OnlyFans, you'll still be able to see what my photo shoot looks like. Now, if you want to see what it looks like to shoot for my OnlyFans, I'm making a separate video today for my girls on my Fansly, well, girls and guys on my Fansly. Um, so my Fansly account, like which I've explained a million times on here, but in case you are new, my Fansly account is just purely dedicated to everything I do on a daily basis on OnlyFans. So how I both grow my OnlyFans, maintain it, how I get my tip menus out there, how I do my PPVs, how I do my all my financial stuff. I have my husband teach classes on Reddit on there, stuff like that. So all that information is obviously below too. Um, but for today, for YouTube, um, you guys will be able to see just what my photo shoots look like whenever it comes to shooting for my public profile. So let me get these outfits ready and then we'll be back. So these are the outfits I've laid out today. They're all really cute. Whenever I do my shoots and I collect my outfits, I try to get a variety of colors. So like you can very easily see that here. I noticed like this is something you'll learn as like you're an OnlyFans girl and doing all your photo shoots is that your subs will like certain colors on you. Um, and my subs all really like white on me. So I always try to include a white outfit. This is new. I think this is gonna be great for my public profile since it's really, you know, obviously more full coverage. I bought some pants to take like pictures of pants in it too. This one is gonna be, I think my favorite of the day. Um, and then this one is really cool too. It has like a garter and thigh things, which will be fun. And then this like a little tank top. I always like to do like more casual styles, like I said, for my public profiles. So that is the lineup today. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. So a few other things I'm doing today is like I'm vlogging my day on TikTok. So make sure you're following me there to see like the rest of my day that I did because I vlogged my whole work day and morning. So that's what I kind of do like during my shoots. I'm always trying to like, whether I live update my subs, I always try to post like a sexy video on my OnlyFans for my subs, specifically on my wall, just so they can get the first clue that I'm shooting. And then um, I try to do TikToks too, but it's kind of hard to do TikToks as an OnlyFans girl. We also ordered some wine from DoorDash. So let's check on that on DoorDash. Okay, first outfit, 
Kelly is <laughs> sucking me into this corset. I'll show you guys the finished results. Say hi, Kelly. Hello. Oh my God, this is serious. She's back there. Excuse this dirty mirror. My friend needs to get it together. Love you, Sam. Okay, so excuse the lighting. I know it's really crazy right now, but we're just setting up. I want to show you guys what our setup looks like. So here's our beautiful photographer. He is getting everything ready. So we have two panel lights and a softbox light. We actually have another one of these. And this is our camera. Can you tell them the camera we have? It's a Sony A7 IV. Are you gonna talk about the lens? Oh yeah, the lens is a Sigma 2.8, uh, 24 to 70. It's good for portraits. So we got a wall enough camera. That's something that we both decided collectively to invest in just cause we take pride in everything we post and you know, whether or not we're in the adult industry, we still are very prideful of our work and our pictures are beautiful and they're worth the money that we charge for them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started shooting. Um, so I'll be back in the middle of the action. you guys all my outfits obviously but I just wanted to like check in and tell you guys that we're doing three outfits today so it's gonna be the last outfit I'm fully covered like you can't see anything but just want to be safe on YouTube and then like we just always switch it up like we always do kitchen and bedroom and everything like that but honestly like all you need for these photo shoots is your outfit so all of my outfits that you saw upstairs are from Shein. They're really inexpensive. I think the most expensive one was $18. So all the other ones were like $9. Um, and then I do my own makeup. Obviously my husband is my photographer. So my advice when it comes to like content creation for your OnlyFans is make your own team of people around you um, and just get that support going. Hopefully you have friends who want to see you succeed like I do, so they're willing to come and help you out. Like my beautiful blogger today, Kelly. So try to find people like that in your life. Even if you're not starting OnlyFans, like you should have people like that in your life either way. So this is gonna be our last outfit and then we're gonna pack up and um, we're gonna eat. So let me shoot this and then we will check back in. part of the shoot is the feast after we always get shake shack so the shoot is done it was a great shoot and please remember to eat don't ever not eat even if you're a sexy model because it's so important to eat and having your body image constantly scrutinized it's not a good thing so always remember to eat you deserve a burger after you do some content and make some money so mm. thank y'all for watching my video bye